guys, it's Kay. Welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, we're going to learn about and sing the praises of one of my favorite household heroes, baking soda. What is baking soda? Why is it so great? And why should you actually maybe take it out of the box? Answers to those questions coming up. If you want to understand what makes baking soda so great, we're going to have to talk about a little bit of science. Wait, 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 don't, don't click off the video. I swear it's all going to make sense. So the use of baking soda or sodium bicarbonate goes as far back as the ancient Egyptians where they used it to clean themselves, clean things around, and also preserve mummies. They were mining it as a mineral called trona from the rivers and lakes around. And thankfully, we still have a lot of that mineral around today, even though some manufacturing processes of baking soda can be quite toxic. Here's where the science part comes in. Sodium bicarbonate, or baking soda, is a slightly basic salt, which means it contains a cation, which is the sodium ion, and a bicarbonate anion, which is like a negatively charged uh, group of particles, and it makes a salt. You don't believe me that it's a salt? Go ahead, go grab some baking soda from inside your pantry, taste it, it tastes a little salty. Since baking soda has a slightly alkaline pH at about eight, neutral is about seven, um, it acts as a very weak base in aqueous solutions, which makes it great for interacting with acids. Another cool thing about baking soda is it can actually act as a buffer as well, which means it can actually act as an acid in certain situations. I'm not really sure how that works, but I thought it was cool. But most of the time when we're talking about baking soda, we're gonna be talking about it as a base. The cool thing about baking soda actually being basic is that a lot of odors, especially around the house, are slightly acidic in nature or actually majorly acidic in nature. And so when baking soda comes in contact with these acidic smells, it can actually neutralize them and therefore take away the smell. So it's not really absorbing odors, it's more just like neutralizing them. Being that baking soda is such a great odor neutralizer, removing it from the box and giving it its own container, I found has been one of the most beneficial things I've done for my home. The first thing I've done is grabbed a simple spice jar and put some baking soda right in here. And uh, yes, it has a, a chemical label on it because I'm a big nerd. And it's got a little sprinkle top. So this has been really helpful in my house when I'm trying to neutralize some disgusting odors. If you have some pretty stinky shoes, you can grab this little spice jar and sprinkle some baking soda right in there and neutralize all those gross odors. Just remember to sprinkle it out of your shoes before you put your shoes back on. One of my favorite uses for the baking soda in the spice jar is to clean some sticky carpets. Now, you guys know I have a dog and he doesn't always smell the greatest, So, but he lays on the carpet and I love him, he's very cute. And But sometimes he leaves the carpet a little bit stinky, so I sprinkle some of that baking soda on the carpet, let it sit for about 15 minutes, and then I vacuum it up on the max setting to make sure I get all of the baking soda up. And after that, it smells nice and fresh. I also do the same thing to my couch and cushions, because he's sleeping on that too. I I know that I mentioned in an earlier video that you can keep a blanket between your dog and the couch and cushions and things like that, but that doesn't always happen. So I do have to neutralize some odors on occasion and it works great on my couch and my couch cushions. This sprinkling method works great for stinky trash cans as well, as well as stinky hampers. If you have a lot of like smelly, disgusting clothes, just sprinkle some baking soda at the bottom of your hamper and it will be less intrusive in your home. Because of baking soda's crystalline structure, it's actually a really nice abrasive and it can clean some surfaces that are very sensitive and need some abrasive cleaning but are prone to scratching. I find that baking soda is just gentle enough but just aggressive enough so that it will clean the stain but won't damage the surface. Again, I recommend that you try to clean an inconspicuous place first just to see if it's going to damage the surface, then you can go in if it's okay. Now I have this little spice jar as part of my cleaning kit. So I've had some really weird stains on my bathroom counters and I just make a little paste of some baking soda and I add a little bit of water from an already wet sponge so that I don't have to make a super liquidy paste. I make a really, a, a fairly dry paste out of some baking soda and water and it gets the stains up like no other. It's actually just as good or better as using magic eraser because it's a light abrasive. I also keep a container by the laundry so that I can grab a quick quarter of a cup and add it to my laundry if my laundry is particularly smelly. 
We all know that baking soda can be used as a leavener in breads and pastries because when it's combined with heat, it breaks down into some substances. And one of those substances is carbon dioxide gas. So it makes breads nice and light. That effect is also good for putting out grease fires. Adding water to a grease fire can actually make it worse because you're introducing oxygen onto the grease fire, which can feed the fire. But if you introduce baking soda and that heat reaction, it's gonna produce carbon dioxide, which will actually snuff out the fire. I've also added some baking soda to its own pop canister, which makes it easier to get at. So it's got a nice wide mouth, so it's easy to pour out and it's easy to grab a little spoonful if I need to make a paste. So that's another good reason to take baking soda out of its box and decant it into its own container. So the next time you buy a box of baking soda, which is actually pretty cheap, by the way, I think you can get them for like a dollar at Target. It's kind of insane how amazing baking soda is and how cheap it is. It's really out of control. Consider actually decanting it into its own container. It's easy to get at so that you can spoon it out easier and like pour it on a grease fire easier and consider putting it in a spice jar because then you can do that little sprinkle thing and the sprinkle thing is amazing. So I wanna hear from you guys. Do you keep your baking soda in the box and use it that way or do you decant it into its own containers and like distribute it around the house like I do? Let me know in a comment down below and if you like videos like this, cleaning videos and organizing videos and cute dog videos, please subscribe. And if you are already subscribed but you aren't part of the notification squad, please get on the notification squad because YouTube said they're not sending notifications to people if they don't ring that bell. So press the bell and you'll get notified every time I upload. <sighs> All right, guys, I will see you in the next video. Bye.